Hey guys, it's Jason here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. You guys know what time it is. As of right now, I am currently editing an old video that I made over winter break. I made a whole bunch of those because I bought a whole bunch of stuff, and it broke my bank account. And we're back with another one. Guess you know what's up? Don't worry about the hair. My hair is a little bit brazy right now. I do have to go get a haircut. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it will happen because I applied for this internship, and I'm supposed to get some type of confirmation email, and it hasn't happened yet, and it's February 11th. So I'm just gonna assume that they're not interested in me because <laughs> I'm a dumb himbo. But anyways, let's get into that package on opening thingamajig. I have no idea what's going on. My brain is fried right now. It's Friday. You already know the vibes. It is Americana Pipe Dream. I ordered another thing off of their website and I checked and it hasn't been what's the word i don't know confirmed yet i won't tell you what it is but it's a very interesting item so i think we're just gonna go ahead and open this yeah guys i'm trying to cut down on my purchases because it's eating to my bank account and on top of that i buy a lot of food because i don't usually get home until i think 3 50 or 4 in the afternoon in school for like a third of the day you'd think that you know that you're in college you'd be spending a lot less time at school and then it turns out you're spending a lot more time at school because it's not just classes you're doing other things as well clubs sports hanging out with friends you get the idea before we unveil the contents of the package yeah it's basically just another one of these slips it has the code on there you can get five percent off if you guys are interested you guys can use the code i don't use this code i use a different code called type sheep 35 i think it takes off like 15 percent off of your price so that's about what it takes off a good two dollars i mean it doesn't sound like a lot but it turns out like you know like two dollars can be very significant when it comes to you know how expensive your price will end up being Especially with like shipping costs and whatnot, you know, we live in very unique times and uh, I was gonna look this up on camera, but I'll do that later. I don't need these slips because again, I use a different, I use a different code. I don't want to see anything looking here. Ah, I can't forget that good old storage warehouse smell. So normally there's supposed to be a sticker that comes with every single package, but I think the guy ran out. He has to buy more of the stickers currently, and then once he does, he'll have the stickers and pretty much every package going on forward. So what we have today is another field jacket. I know, I know, another field jacket. When are you going to buy more pants? When are you going to buy more other stuff uh leave me alone this is my channel and i'll do whatever i want we have that's right an airman battle uniform field jacket this is a digital tiger stripe camo the controversy with this type of camo is that it has practically no usefulness outside of i don't know being in the uh, air base because first of all as an air force pilot you don't really need camouflage because half the time you're gonna be like in an aerial vehicle anyways and then the very few times you are on the ground it's probably because your airplane crashed and you need to have someone come and pick you up so you're not doing a whole lot of running around and shooting if you are doing a whole lot of running around and shooting there's something wrong with you. Either that or uh, help is not arriving anytime soon. So this camouflage has practically no usefulness in the outside world. It doesn't camouflage, or, you know, it doesn't blend in with the environment. It's literally just a camouflage pattern for the sake of a camouflage pattern. There's another camouflage pattern. Uh, it's called Navy Working Uniform Type 1. And it's literally kind of like the same thing. It's the same sort of process where it's like they have a camo scheme for the sake of having a camo scheme. It sounds stupid, but I know it, it's a real, it's a real thing. It's a real thing, you know, people will just come up with camel schemes just to have camel scheme for, you know, their, their specific branch. But I'm not using this to camouflage myself with anything because, you know, I live in a society. <laughs> I don't know what else that was supposed to mean, but I, I wanted to say that. But we're going to try this on. I ordered this in a medium because they ran out of large and I didn't think they were going to be stocked up on large anytime soon. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I need it in large because it looks like it's about a fit. The only thing I have to do is button up the collars because for some reason, reason every time i get a field jacket the collar is unbuttoned yeah so it says on the little tag right here it says 38 large normally i like to buy in 40 because i'm a big boy and i seriously do need to lose weight you can blame covid 19 for that i like to eat a lot food is very much kind of my thing unfortunately so i do need to cut out i need to cut down on my consumption rate again this is airman battle uniform i think it's just called digital tiger stripe but officially it's called airman battle uniform it recently got retired for you know that same old not really 
old, but it's like the same generic multi-cam camouflage scheme that like everyone is using nowadays. So I think they retired this camouflage scheme not that long ago. I think it was last year. It was like April of 2021. That's and that was like the wear out date for this specific type of camo scheme. So you won't be seeing these around anymore in active service. But that means you'll be seeing a whole lot of these hitting the military surplus stores. So if you want to stock up on camo that looks cool but is otherwise useless out in the field, now is your chance. Yeah, I think it's, this is gonna fit. There's, yeah, there's another tag right here. It says coat man's blah 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 blah. Yeah, there's a whole like you don't got you guys don't need to worry about that too much. We're just gonna button this on and see if it's actually gonna fit, which I think it should, even though it's a 38 size. I think my other one, the well, my closet's kind of empty right now because they're supposed to right now. I'm in a weird situation where we're in the middle of home remodeling because the previous owner didn't do a pretty good job at modernizing the home. It still looks like something out of the 50s, you know, atomic age type of vibes here. So now we have to drop hella dough in order to resume the modernization of this house. The idea was that buying a new house, it should already be new. You know, we wouldn't have to worry about modernizing too much other than like, you know, maybe fixing a couple things here and there, but yeah, this is the fuel jack, by the way. I mean, it's a pretty cool camel scheme, but that, like, like I said earlier, like it has no practical usefulness. It's really not gonna camouflage you out in the field. You're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. I don't know why they decided to go with it. I don't know why they didn't just like go with the OD green. Like that's typical. Like if you're gonna fly like a helicopter or something like that, you don't need a camouflage uniform in order to fly a helicopter. Unless you're trying to like hide yourself from the uh, the gunner in the backseat of an Apache helicopter something you're like hey i'm not here i don't know what you're talking about you're getting your orders from god or something it's just one of those really weird sort of things that the military did they're like yeah every military branch should have a camo scheme even though they're probably some of them are not going to see any service oh and you guys can't see it but on my seat right now is the turkish nano uniform i did a whole video on that i haven't gotten all the way to that video yet i'm currently in the process of editing other videos it's taken me a long while but i will get to that one eventually and this one i have no idea when this video is going to come out it'll probably come out probably march or april that's how long it's probably going to take me because i have a whole bunch of assignments due for classes just i'm i'm a very busy guy what was i talking about oh yeah the closet so right now my brother's room is getting remodeled and it's almost done so like the wall is pretty much done and everything else he's gotta like paint it i'm looking at the paint and i think my dad decided to go with that same barfy like pump stain yellow <laughs> type of color excuse my language but that's literally what the color looks like it, it looks like the color of your like you know ejaculation you know for the guys out there that will walk there you know watching this right now you know what that color is it's, it's practically it's kind of like that color it looks so ugly i don't know why he continues to go with that. my dad continues to go with that color it's so ugly looking it, it just like strains the eye he's like yeah man I, I i did a i did a number you know i think i did something here but yeah after after my brother's room is done they're gonna do my closet and then eventually they're gonna do my room too they're gonna do all the rooms in the house but they're kind of going it like room by room instead of just like all of the rooms because that would make absolutely no sense and i'm gonna have the zero idea where i'm gonna sleep my brother's not here now he's currently at suny what is it suny oswego i almost said oneonta that was what he applied to but he ended up going to suny oswego and in terms of the uh the military surplus right now this pretty much is done i mean i give it a 10 out of 10 it fits it does what it's supposed to do it's in good condition and i like the camel scheme even though it has no practical usefulness out in the field. It's a big common complaint, apparently, among Air Force members. There's like, why bother with a camouflage that doesn't work? It's the same thing with UCP camo. That's the old army camo before they switched over to OCP, which is basically more or less a reverse engineered copy of the Pry Precision, Pry, am I saying that Pry Precision Multicam, which is a commercial camo scheme originally. And then there's the Navy working uniform type one camo, which is basically just like, it's a digital blue camouflage and no one knows why it's even a thing because you're on a boat you're not really camouflaging it's not even like a camel scheme it's just like it's just like it's like putting on gold camo on call of duty just to make yourself look cool that's basically what it is but in terms of the unboxing that part's pretty much done before i end the video i do want to give a little bit of an update so right now my brother is 
currently introducing his own clothing line. He has an account. I forget what it's called. Let me search up my phone. I don't remember off the top of my head. So the account is called Day by Demon. It is my brother's sort of, I guess, passion project. He's really big into fashion and clothing and, you know, he's a very artistic person. So art and fashion goes together really, really well. If you guys are watching this, which I'm assuming there's a decent amount of you watching this, what you guys need to do right now is go follow the Day by Demon Instagram account. It's literally what it says. It's called Day by Demon. Can't mess that up. He is currently, right now, he currently needs models to sort of model the brand, to get the brand out there. So he's currently looking for models. So if you're interested in doing any type of modeling, message the Day by Demon account, and I'm assuming my brother will give you the details. Also, I don't know if he still does YouTube or not. I don't think he does, but my, my brother also has a YouTube account. It's called Cat Booster, literally a music basing account, you know, back in the day when that was popular. I think it's still popular, but it's not as popular anymore. It's a slow and reverb community, which I, I don't want to explain that. You guys know what that is. Again, my brother is doing a clothing line. Go follow that account. Go show some love. I'm pretty sure he's going to put a lot of hard work and dedication into making his own clothing line, which is pretty cool. I actually kind of want to model. But yeah, that's the that's the update, and this is the end of the video. Right now, the video is looking kind of long, but as soon as I get to editing, I will cut out some stuff, any unnecessary pauses and whatnot. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think of the video. Again, this is United States Air Force Airman Battle Uniform Field Jacket. I need to find the pants. I know they're on eBay, but I'm a little worried that they're going to cost way too much for my liking. Right now, I'm currently looking into... What is it called? South African Soldier 2000. It's a very interesting camo. Very hard to get because the thing is, in in South Africa, you're not you're not allowed to wear the camouflage unless it's government approved, and you're not even allowed to sell it outside of the country. So the fact that I was able to find someone on eBay who had the camouflage scheme up for sale, and it's a lot because it's very hard to get. That that was like, yo, that's that's golden. That's that's what I'm trying to save up for eventually. But yeah, this is the video. We're done here. Don't want to take up too much of your time. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Presumably tomorrow because I have another package coming in. So you will be seeing another video soon.